Hi guys and welcome to today's GSX Ground Simulations Extreme full tutorial. How to use it once it is installed onto your PC. Once it's installed onto your PC, you go to the add-ons and it should be under the standby. There you go. The Caterpillar powered products GSX customized aircraft, customized airport positions and GSX settings. Once all that's done and everything is set to you way you want it, like at the moment I'm at Tenerife and uh, I'm going to simply press control and F12 and it gives you all these options all these options that you can use uh, wherever one you want to use, so with today we're going to start off with a, a catering surface service and then as you can see they all start to appear and then we simply use the request to refueling then very simply then we will just request boarding. In the process now you need to know the your aircraft off by heart. So I am sitting in the Captain Sim seven five seven and I know how to open all the doors and everything on this by simply pressing shift and free. Now I know how to open uh, now it for it tells me to I know that you hey you have to open all the doors that the that all the um stairs have gone to. So while the doors get opened, which they have done that is now all okay that side of the aircraft. Now this side of the aircraft, the two under cargo doors need opening, so simply open them. In the PMDG or Airbus X you'll find how to open the doors in the PM in the F and the S or FMC. But in this process we have opened the um doors via a command prompt via pressing the shift and free. As you can see now the car uh, refueling truck is here and very shortly very shortly it will pop up with a refueling screen Just stand by one second and as you can see it's uh, pulled up with the um refueling screen we're going to put the this down to minimal and then we got the doesn't see anything happen there but we it's been refueled now with the catering cars are on their way round and here they come. Refueling has been completed. Also you need to keep an eye on the green green sort of line, the information line that comes up when you're doing GSX because it gives you basic information of it tells you what to do. So just now while the cargo services come, they're gonna use these two doors the first and the very last door and now they're in position as you can see we are going to open the service doors one and service doors two like I said you must know your doors and how to open all, the, all doors of the aircraft you're flying as you can see I'm in the Captain Sim 757 like I've said already and I know very simply how to use the doors in this aircraft now the procedure of the catering service is taking place. Now I want to just to point out a few very really, really nice techniques that they have included here. In a very very shortly you're going to see one thing. Stand by. You're going to see uh, one thing. A little man, a little man, walking up and down. They are. Uh, they have actually simulated the caterer or the man driving the vehicle going in and out with the catering equipment as you can say. Now what else I also find really interesting is if you enter the cockpit and then you go into the cabin as they say stand by one second and then you can see the ladders are there and as you can see there he is there as you can see he's pulling it in or bringing it into the aircraft or if you zoom in too far the catering truck just vanishes a bit and you can see they haven't really simulated this as well because he does go straight through there we'll open up the copy door so um while the catering service services are taking place nothing else really occurs we are just here at Tenerife in like I said in 757 handling this by Swiss port and the one thing you find at many major airports is the the stands at Gatwick Heathrow the mo whatever stand you're at is ten well nine times out of ten if you edit it correctly is the stand that you would use um, at the actual airport the airline 
so it would be like handling by British Airways or handling by EasyJet it would actually say that on the stands at the airport that the airline actually would most likely go to but you need to make sure that you've edited all your settings correctly so as you can see the file the case room service completes it is completing I think this is his last time into the aircraft there you go close the surface front door and rear door surface door front and surface door rear are closed as you can see then the sort of truck goes into sort of done mode in a way and it starts to go down and then prepares to go off um, now these start to disappear as you can see it is gate gourmet and they are at different airports but they are with the caterers at the airport mostly use um, now as you can see they're on their way zoom out a bit in the case very shortly you'll see the baggage on their way if you search around the airfield you can see them in the distance so as you can see here come the caterers now there go the caterers and here come the baggage normally it is a massive big purple or yellow or red bus turn up but sometimes it can be a little like, little like, coach thing that is mostly fine when you've got a jetway closely that you could use or underneath the terminal they could just walk across but it is all settings and everything it does take time to go through the settings but it is worth it once you've gone through the settings as you can see the park in here you could have parked down the other sort of side here and that's when the jetway does come into use but we doesn't really occur because at this parking where you can see every a sort of plus side that the GSX has got. Now if we go back to pressing control on F12 you can prepare for pushback and departure and we're going to use a we're going to put our nose to the right and tail to the left for the departure but we must wait for all the other surfaces to be completed. As you can see the little 4x4 car has turned up And obviously that is normally a bus, but obviously you but you can change that prior to the departure and the gates and everything. It takes makes take a few long time to go through all the settings, but it definitely is indeed worth it. As you can see, here come the cargo sort of cargo baggage metal things. Um, and then once the cargo has been put into the hold and the boarding is completed we can then go for a push back and then that is mostly it of GSX that is, that is it and then until you may then make an arrival at an airfield where you would then simply press control and left 12 and press deboarding and it will just literally deboard and then you have to follow the instructions that pop up on the screen such as remove the doors remove this, remove that. Also, something else that really is interesting and good is that you can also use a follow me car which will be shown uh, in time when we or when I do a video and I request a follow me car it's practically just, it's an easy for big airports on that sim. Like Amsterdam for example they'll say taxi stand blah 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 via taxiway blah blah blah, blah and you'll be like oh my god I don't know where that is. So GSX you just type it in uh, or you just click the where you want to go and request to follow me car to stand by for a minute or two and then the follow me car will appear and then it'll take you straight to the gate and now as you can see here the aircraft is indeed um, unloading its uh, cargo um, and it, if you're in your Heathrow or Gatwick and unloading is Virgin or BA or EasyJet it will have EasyJet on the side or British Airways or Virgin or Thompson, Thomas Cook, whoever it is, and it will also have the airline code down on the, where the writing is. But obviously, at Tenerife is Swissport, the main user, who control the airfield, uh, control the airfield sort of like ground movement. So that is practically it, in a way. That is mostly what they use. 
you can edit these, so it isn't just well, it just fits in there, perfect. So it isn't just um them little like cargo things. You can also use uh, baggage when the baggage uh, comes up. The man gets off the truck and he can unload the like luggage on to the aircraft. But it's all sorts of things you can edit and do in the settings. But this is just practically my default for Tenerife. As you can see, he's backing away now, so we're going to close back onto the door page. And we're going to close the rear cargo door. Wait for this one to back off, and we'll close the front cargo door. And then we will consider our pushback and engine start. Back away. Here we go. He's moving down a bit now. Yeah, there you go. We've been closing up the cargo door. Um, as you can see, it will pop up eventually that baggage loading is complete, boarding is taking place, and then it will say boarding is complete. Close the doors. But we're going to close the rear passenger door and the main passenger door leaving just the middle one open and then when we go in, then into the passenger view here we'll be able to see the stairs go down very very shortly just standing by taking longer than what I thought it was going to take Anyways, we'll get done eventually. You'll see this uh, sort of like steps lower themselves, or these steps, the first two steps will lower themselves. This one here will just back away, as you can see, because it's got the car sort of driver. These will lower, and then just push them away. Something else that is really good with the pushback is the. Oh, you just have to wait out and find out in this one in a second. Let's quickly align the IRSs. It's just going to be a really simple engine start. We've just got a standby. It's taking longer than what I thought it was going to take. Wait for the boarding to complete. And it's another thing you can edit in the. Um, in the settings and that is the time it takes to do this time it takes to do all the boarding and everything like that um, let's turn the APU on actually because it always tells you you can't do the pushback until you turn on the APU um, it's things like that and it tells you it's perfect for pushing back and lining you up in the taxiway because also that is a big help on that sim as well if you've got a face a certain way it does it all for you instead of going into the FMC and predicting it. Um, here you go, the door's closing now on the little van, indicating the boarding is complete. He's driving off and very shortly, in a matter of seconds, the stairs will start to lower. Just going to a wing view. And there goes the little truck. No, there you go. Passengers boarded, baggage loading in progress. We know the baggage loading is complete. And there you go, the stairs. Stairs have lowered. And now they will get pushed back or drive back in the back position. And now, as you can see, at the front of the aircraft, the um, little yellow tug or the yellow tug is in position. And there is a little man there. Waving at me, which I don't think you can. There he is. He's moving around. This is something with the GSX. Is it is extremely lag-free with the man. It will show him taking every step he takes. That is how precise it is. Before we get pushed back onto the main taxiway, though, got to follow a few certain procedures. And that's lights have got to go on. Before we do that, well, in a minute we will go into the cockpit, and then we'll be able to see the man himself walking 
basically open a window. So as you can see, in a minute it will say release the parking brakes, which it just said. Release the parking brakes, it will commence the push. There we go, it started to commence the push. Um, so we're now going to the cockpit, and we open up the window, and as you can see him there, he's pushing us back really. Uh, now we're going to start the engines. Start them automatically because I'm just controlling the idiot because I'm not really going to focus the flight I'm using dedicated. I'm just basically making crew on GSX. As you can see, the man is walking and it is lag free. That is the main thing that we are looking at here is the lag free in GSX. Very important, we set some flaps. Get to wing view. Down past the last steps there. I'm going to now just back the cockpit and close the window firstly. There we go. Um, as you can see, we're starting to make our turn now. And this is what makes GSX this bit the turn into the aircraft. As you can see, the aircraft can into that. Turn, as I told him earlier, I told him earlier to have a tower left mode right push back, which it is starting to be for us here now. And as you can see, the man there is still lag free walking. Um, with we look really realistic when you're down here and you actually lift the aircraft you know, in the taxiway. As you can see, the other thing it does for you, like I said, it levels you up perfectly. And there's still no lag there. Now, this is bringing us down to the end of our tutorial on how to use GSX. But, there we go, even now it will say set the, set the parking brake. Oops. Set the parking brake. Good time to end it there, I think. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the um, tutorial, and I hope it is helpful. If you need any more help, leave a comment below. Check out BBM Virtual Airlines. Um, please like and subscribe.